Welcome to Vention Tips. In today's video, we are going to use Vention's publicly available machine tending design with the Fenuc CRX to demonstrate how you can easily program and simulate your robot online. If you'd like to follow along in today's video, click the link in the description below to open this public design. To begin robot programming, ensure you have a Fenuc robot a digital calibration tool located next to your workpiece, a round aluminum extrusion for your tray handle in your design to use the machine tending app. Program your robot in two easy steps. Step one, configure your robot. Step two, program. Start by adding the robot and end of arm tool in the CAD. Step one, configure your robot Configure your robot by clicking Add Robot at the bottom left corner of your screen. Start by selecting the robot model you would like to simulate and deploy. Then, configure the output pins of the end of arm tool attached to your robot. When you deploy this program, you will be able to control the end of arm tool based on the output pins you have configured. Step 2 Program you have the option to program from one of our machine app templates, such as the machine tending app, or build your own custom application. In this tutorial, we will program a machine tending app. Part one, create an array. Select a reference frame, which is the origin of your array, and place it in the CAD. Always select from the top tray. From the drop-down menu, select the fixed spacings option. This will allow you to create an array on an XY plane. Fill in the fields to generate your array. Once you're done, click Generate Array to see it in the CAD. If your arrays are the same as on the second and third tray, you may simply duplicate your array and change the array name and reference frame. Part 2 Create movements. Create your robot path for approaching your part. Click Add Waypoint and click Move With to move your robot using a point-to-point -point connection, triad, or jogger. Then click Confirm to teach the waypoint. You can also click Add Robot Command to control your end-of-arm tool. Create the robot path to retract your part and teach the waypoints. Then, create the robot path to drop off your part. Teach your waypoints as usual, but notice that there is a This is my final drop off point option. Clicking on this button, allows you to manually calibrate and teach this option on the real CNC machine. The waypoint taught in the CAD is just a placeholder for simulation purposes and to specify that waypoint to be a variable for the post-process program. Place your machined part back into the tray by teaching the waypoints to drop off your part. Part 3. Create Tray Open Position. The round extrusions you have placed in your design will automatically be associated to the nearest robot array. If you prefer, you may manually override the pre-filled options from the drop-down menu. When hovering over the drop-down menu, you can see the highlighted tray handle. The tray handle association is used to generate a pre-made open and closed tray script so that the hook on the digital calibration tool can reliably pull the trays. You can see this in simulation in the upcoming steps. Click Next. Part 4. Review. Now position your robot so that the hook is near the tray handle and click Generate My Application. You can now see the generated program for your machine tending app. Afterwards, feel free to customize as you wish using our regular commands. The purpose of this machine app template is to give you a step-by-step -step walkthrough 
to create an end-to-end -end solution in minutes. Lastly, press play to watch your program simulate. Now you're ready to export your program and upload it to your robot pendant. Thank you for watching and happy programming! <laughs>